I'm making a tutorial about the MotoGP and the Grad 2019 and uh, Ride 3 and uh, one of the best of game here, you will figure it out. This is MotoGP and as you notice I'm driving the first person. First person is so good on this game. Uh, if you're playing the third person, you don't feel in the pace. You don't feel the game so much as you do when you're playing. When you're playing uh, uh, in uh, first person, first person takes a lot of practice, and when you're feeling you can handle it, it's so good, it's so fun to play it because you can drive so fast. Then you have to figure out something about the settings. You don't need to figure out so much about the settings if you're playing in third person, but first person, you really need to figure out any, everything you know about the brakes, the turns. How the bike will turn in, turn out, and how far your gear rotation will be. And this game is just good. It is really, really good. Seriously good. Don't play this game in third person, you just ruin it. Because this is great. You get some feeling of the speed, and here we're going over to a Grid 2019. You, and what you notice here, I got like full trouble, and this is actually hard. And only thing I notice when I'm fast is I can see the car in front of me have some smoke out out of his tires. But I really don't feel the speed in the car. And the sound is kind of poor. And uh, I'm just watching and just, it looks slow. When you, when you had the grid race driver, it was just wild. It was spinning, it was crashing, it was, and the speed felt so real fast. And this is just like a Sunday drive. So this game, grid, 2019 really have some issues and yeah, that's too bad because it's good yeah, everything you see is good and it's really fun first person I never play any game in third person because I cannot play in third person it looks stupid just like when you're watching the EA at the air playing first uh, third person in competition I just what what has that is not realistic and the lobbies in the grid 2019 is only full of AI cars. No one is playing it, so Codemaster, you have to take a grip on yourself and do something about it because the multiplayer is totally crappy, 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 crappy. There's no one there. So it just ruined that shit, and I hope they will fix that as fast as possible. This one is Ride 3. What are you notice, notice when you're watching this? Like, you maybe noticed in the MotoGP 19, you didn't feel, felt it in the grid. It's fast. It is really, really fast. And this game in first person, my god, it's just awesome. I played right one, two, and three, and Mostly of the MotoGP series too, and the MotoGP 19 is uh, is really good. Uh, Moto Moto 17 was also good, but 19 is even better. You have to practice a lot in first person to be good, like you have to do in Ride 3. Ride 1 was cool, but 2 was better, and Ride 3 just awesome. And I have all the bikes in garage, and you will not believe what I'm going to tell you right now. I have over 350 bikes in my garage in Ride 3. And let me tell you, none of the bikes are similar. That is one of bike of each. So, if this game is good, yeah, problem, it has an issue. The issue again is the multiplayer because lots of Spanish guys and Italian guys are playing Ride 3 or the series 
and the MotoGP series. What do they have in, in Italia and in Spain? They have really bad internet connections. So when you go in there and you're finding a server and you're getting a host that is from Italy or from Spain, that means it's going to crash a lot because the bikes are flying all over the track. That look, it doesn't look like for them it don't, but if you are behind them, you will see the bikes is flying left and right side and sideways and everything and he will not understand the problem with that what kind of issue you have so that is really bad and you cannot post actually a game there like in grid 2019 you cannot be the host uh, you just in you're just picking uh, just coming up a menu and you uh, when you have this voting system, well, they have actually a voting system. You don't even have that in grid. So back to ride three. This is the GSXR 1000. This is actually one of the best bikes. It's it's two bikes that is really really good. Uh, the Ducati V4R is or or the special is good. It's not so wild as the GSXR. It's really really stable but I'm driving personal like G6R so it's get, it's getting this wild feeling really wild feeling it's just crazy but the Ducatis it's just like when you're playing Call of Duty or Battlefield and you're having a gun with no recoil it's exactly almost the same feeling but when you're playing the third person you will not feel the difference between the GSXR and the Ducati V4 because you're playing the third person. Third person, you have to just here as you go more to the left and over to the right, more to the right and more to the left because you can read the track much better when you're playing in the first person. It's just like shooting a gun. You have to point, finding direction where to put. But here I was slow. I should be much more to the left side. So that's why my time here is not too good, but it is really good enough. It's, I think it was 626 or something. And this game is good. I think you can find it in the PlayStation Store and not so very expensive anymore. And you will have a lot of fun. Because this game is... Ooh, this is fun. Because you have to drive really, really fast and you can feel it and every mistake you do will yeah you will pay for it so as you notice I'm driving 120 percent of difficulty that is the hardest you can do and I don't think you can notice that because it doesn't say in places but just not right now and I'm playing with no traction control so that means practice 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 if you're getting this game Please play this game in the third person. No, third? No, screw that first person. Third person just ruining your fun. First person is making it fun. So, I'm going to the straight and uh, I hope you enjoy this. And if you want to see more about settings, fast times, videos I'm making for the YouTube to my channel and please subscribe and please follow if you want to see more of my crazy stuff on the YouTube channel so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed bye